Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the young lady sent me this file that she got off of Epilogue's uh, sample club. It's a hinge, living hinge book. But she's having trouble when she uh, changes the size like to 16. It no longer becomes a hairline. If we look, it was a hairline before. So her page is probably set up the exact way mine is. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to double click on my pen tool. And I'm going to uncheck scale with object. Because we want it to be a hairline regardless of how big we make it. So select everything and make it 16 by 10, I think she said. Now if we grab that, it's a hairline. If we grab one of the living hinges, it's a hairline. Now, uh, this came off Edible's fan page, or I'm sure they test them. I would actually cut all these lines off just because I've never, it's been a while since I made a living hinge. I've never really seen one that has all this cut. You know, the uh, maybe because it's a book so big. I normally don't do big stuff like that. And you don't really have to do this. It's going to burn through the wood. But it might save you a little bit of time. Now, increasing or decreasing a living hinge could be a problem. But the little bit we did, I don't think it's going to change the flexibility or the strength of the living hinge by just adding an inch on both sides because you, you basically stretched out the whole thing. And there is a, we could have done that too. Let me, let's do that. Let's take a, let's take the living hinge. Let's control G to group them together. And let's hit P and put them in the center of the page. Now we're going to take our op, our optical and make it 16 by 10 and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now we haven't changed the living hinge strength. And actually your book will be the same thickness. That might be the way to go. So we didn't change the living hinge. We just changed the size of the book. And if you see, it's, well, I changed it and didn't have my, I, I had mine set on default, scale with object. So click on that, make it 16, hit P, and now it's a hairline. And like I said, you don't have to cut these lines, um, but it'll save you a little bit of time. And once again, I'd say it, uh, just quite possibly they have all these cut because of the size of the book. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.